Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we gather in this Eucharistic celebration to receive the seeds of God's Word that contains His promise. And so to prepare ourselves to receive in our hearts these seeds of God's graces, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. 
A reading from the beginning of the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The words of Jeremiah, son of Hilkiah, of a priestly family in Anathoth, in the land of Benjamin. The word of the Lord came to me thus, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I dedicated you. A prophet to the nations, I appointed you. Ah, Lord God, I said, I do not know how to speak. I am too young. But the Lord answered me, Say not, I am too young. To whomever I send you, you shall go. Whatever I command you, you shall speak. Have no fear before them, because I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Then the Lord extended his hand and touched my mouth, saying, See, I place my words in your mouth. This day I set you over nations and over kingdoms, to root up and to tear down, to destroy and demolish, to build and to plant. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will sing of your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I will sing of your salvation. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. I will sing of your salvation. For you are my hope, O Lord, my trust, O God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth. From my mother's womb you are my strength. I will sing of your salvation. My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day your salvation. O God, you have taught me from my youth, and till the present, I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will sing of your salvation. Please stand. The seed is the word of God. Christ is the sower. All who come to him will live forever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. On that day, Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat down, and the whole crowd stood along the shore. And he spoke to them at length in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, 
and birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground where it had little soil. It sprang up at once because the soil was not deep. And when the sun rose, it was scorched, and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. Whoever has ears ought to hear. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Jesus uses in our gospel passage today the image of a small seed that is sown by the sower. And Jesus teaches us today to look at small things as seeds. Many times, we belittle small things. Many times, we underestimate and underappreciate small things. But Jesus teaches us today, do not belittle the small things in life. They are just seeds waiting to grow. Huwag niyong maliliitin, mamaliitin ang mga maliliit na bagay sapagkat ito'y dapat tingnan natin bilang mga binhi na naghihintay lumago. Mga maliliit na binhi at naroon sa loob ng maliit na binhi na yan ang biyaya, ang mas malaking biyaya at grasya ng Diyos. We have an example in our first reading today from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. He looked at himself as a very little man, a young man, who has no capacities, little capabilities. But God called him and looked at him as a small seed waiting to grow, waiting to be fruitful with God's word. So, my dear brothers and sisters, if you are facing small things right now, do not be discouraged. If you are just a lowly employee, at sasabihin mo na, ah, I'm just a small employee in this company. I cannot do anything great. I will just forever be small. Do not look at yourself as small. You are a seed. And Jesus cultivates you and will make you fruitful. When I was a seminarian, one time I was assigned to head the Manualia Department. I don't know if the sisters know this. Maganda lang pakinggan ang manualia. No, it's a Latin word, which means to work. Kami ang in charge sa paglilinis. No? Kaya uh, the manualia department is a small department. Kaya kapag na-assign ka dyan, naku, mamaliitin ka. No? Ah, dyan lang naka-assign yan sa paglilinis. No? Siguro walang kip. Kay capability yan, kaya dyan na-assign yan sa manualya. 
So at that time, I thought, bakit ba ako dito inassign? A very small department. A department that is underappreciated. Who would have thought that I was being prepared to clean the Manila Cathedral? <laughs> Kaya ngayon, kapag uh, niloloko ako, ah, I, I am now assigned to clean this cathedral. No? Kaya ako ay very, ano, sa, sa malinis. No? Kaya kung mapapansin ninyo, ang Manila Cathedral gusto ko lagi malinis. At that time, it may be a small matter, a small work, a small job. But you are being prepared to be fruitful in something bigger. My dear brothers and sisters, you may be facing a small job, a small position, small profit. You may even be facing problems and challenges. Do not underestimate them. They may just be seeds of a bigger grace, a bigger blessing that is coming. Amen. Please stand. Let us tell God of our desire for a rich harvest on earth as we reflect on some of the poor soil in our lives, as we say, Lord, make our lives fruitful. Lord, make our lives fruitful, that the Church may produce a rich harvest in the dedicated and committed lives of her ministers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make our lives fruitful, that the harvest of justice may spring from the selfless labors of government officials, legislators, and judges. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make our lives fruitful, that farmers and those who work in the field may reap the fruits of their labor and contribute to the welfare of the community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make our lives fruitful, that the sick and those beset by life's misfortunes may be consoled by the harvest of encouragement from their community and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make our lives fruitful, that the faithful departed may come to their everlasting home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make our lives fruitful. Loving Father, help us to bring to harvest whatever seeds you have already sown in our hearts and in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery 
of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am, I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter, enter under, under my roof, my roof but, but only, only say, say the, the word, and, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot 
at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Healing Rosary this evening will be hosted by the National Shrine and Parish of St. Anne in Hagonoy, Bulacan, in anticipation of the Feast of Saints Joachim and Anne, the parents of Our Lady. And so this evening, let us come together as we join the Healing Rosary at 9 p.m. tonight for the healing of the world. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.